Welcome Sagittarius, my name is Rosa and I am here to bring you another weekly love read. We're just going to dive on in and see what messages want to come through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week. Of course, Saggy, if this is your reading, uh, feel free to hit that like button to let me know that you enjoyed it, that it resonated. For others of you, if you enjoy my content here today and you haven't already done so, Make sure you're subscribed to the channel because in doing so, you will receive notification updates of every time I upload a new reading here, which is usually every week, okay, sometimes twice a week. Um, for those of you who are returning, welcome guys. Thank you so much for all the likes, the shares, the support. It really does mean the world. We're going to draw six cards and then we're going to draw three cards for you and three cards for the person you're thinking of or connecting to. If you are single, Sagittarius, the reading will still apply. Uh, we will just be reading the energy of the person that's coming in or towards you. Okay, so the cards you've got is the Magician in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Pentacles reversed. Everything is fine. Reverse, which is the Ten of uh, Swords. Death in reverse and the Four of Wands. Okay, we've got Aries energy here. We've got Scorpio, Scorpio energy. With the Queen of Pentacles, we've got Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, let's grab three cards for yourself. Also to Sagittarius, if you are new to my channel, you may be unaware um, that I'm over on Instagram. The reason why I mention that is because I do, I have recently uploaded some new monthly reads over there. So if you're feeling a little bit curious, feel free to check those readings out. I won't take those cards too many. You will find the link on how to connect with me on that platform in the show more section below. I feel like this one wanted to come through. Temperance, I'm not doing reversals. You could be connecting to a Capricorn or another Sagittarian now. Let's take a look at the energy of your person. Okay, they're coming through as the Two of Swords. Uh, Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Nice, they could be a fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. Okay, so what's going on here? I feel with the Devil card here, I feel with the devil card here, Sagittarius, that you're hung up on about this person. Okay, I feel like you're hung up about them. There's like an obsessive, possessive energy coming through you. Okay, you may be finding that you're completely obsessed with the current situation or with this person. I feel that you're trying to maintain that with the temperance card. You're trying to manage your feelings around this person okay so if you're lusting after them if you're feeling extremely tempted to do uh, something inappropriate um, I feel that you're trying to maintain your emotion your emotions okay because the temperance is about tempering your emotions trying to calm yourself down here For some of you with the King of Pentacles, you can see yourself. Um, you can see yourself really committing to this person or having something stable with this person, like long term. I mean, with this person. For others of you, this may be your committed partner, Sagittarius. When it comes to their energy, I feel like with the Queen of Wands that they are attracted to you.
there could be some strong sexual attraction between you and this individual, okay? They feel sexually attracted to you. I mean, you are coming through as a devil. The devil can be known as strong sexual attraction. And I feel like they are sexually attracted to you, but they're in two minds with the two of swords. They're in two minds. They're... They're in two minds on whether or not they should give in to their attraction. With the Six of Pentacles, this is a giving in to their attraction. They know that you want exactly the same thing as you. Sorry, did I say that right? They know that you want exactly the same thing as them. But they're in two minds on whether or not they should give in to their desire or their attraction for you. I'm getting strong fire energy coming from this person as well. With the magician in reverse, uh, Sagittarius, I feel that someone doesn't want to act on their desires or their emotions. They're trying to tell themselves that everything's okay. So if this could be you, this could be them. You could be deceiving yourself into tricking yourself into thinking that everything's okay, got it under control. Because the King of Pentacles, he's disciplined. So I feel like you're trying to discipline yourself. Okay, you're trying to discipline yourself. You're trying to control your emotions here or your desires for this person. For some of you with the death card in reverse, this could be an ex. This could be someone returning back from the past. You could have thought that this was done and dusted, that you wiped your hands clean or that this was over, but I feel like it's not over. It's not finalised. It's not finished with this person. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse tells me that one of you is giving to this connection um, or overly giving to the connection or overly giving to the relationship or the situation. I do feel with the Four of Wands there is a reunion on the cards for some of you. But we'll have a look and see what the clarifying cards see. And I feel with the Four of Pentacles in reverse, there's um, there's a, like a letting go energy. It's like, oh, I, I can't hold back. Okay, so maybe this is coming from both of you. It's like there's, there's this pull. There's this push and pull dynamic going on here between you and your person and it's like you're both surrendering to your desires or the temptations here and i don't see anyone holding back with the four of pentacles okay let's get some clarity on the magician card i feel like this one wanted to come through four of wands in reverse For some of you, you're telling yourself, give me a moment, Sagittarius. If this is someone from the past that it didn't work out with, I feel like you're telling yourself you shouldn't go there, um, you shouldn't revisit this. But I feel that you're deceiving yourself into thinking that it will be okay like the second time around. Mm, I hope that makes sense. Let's get some clarity on the Queen of... Oh, look at this. The Empress in Reverse. I feel what's sort of drawing you both together or pulling you towards each other is the fact that there's 
a lack of self-esteem or a lack of self-worth within the both of you. Okay, there's a reason why you're magnetized and you're drawn to each other because I feel like you're giving each other something, whether it's attention, whether it's this, this feeling of being desired. But I can't ignore, Sagittarius, that the devil is here. Okay, so... The devil tells me that that's not really healthy, okay? Um, it's not really a, re a good reason to come together or act on one's desires because it's just temporary. It's just a temporary fix. It's just a temporary high. Let's... Okay, we've got the chariot in reverse. Could be a Cancerian that you're connecting to here. But I get with the chariot in reverse, this is someone doesn't have strong willpower. Okay. To see the situation for what it really is. Queen of Swords. Okay, she has clarity. But it's like, someone doesn't have the willpower here to see the situation for what it really is. Or to even just cut ties. Or cut cords here. It's like with the Queen of Swords, I'm curious. I'm curious. I need to explore my curiosity. Let's get some clarity on the Ten of, everything is fine, the Ten of Swords with the Ten of Wands. The truth of the situation, um, Sagittarius, is that at the end of the day, this connection is always going to require hard work. Ten of Wands to me is a hard working energy. You're always going to feel or one of you or both of you are always going to feel uh, weighed down by this connection or feel heavy or burdened by this connection. Let's get some clarity. Three of Cups in reverse. I feel like for some of you Sagittarians, this could have been someone that you had a friends with benefits thingy going on. And it's like they're coming back around. Queen of Cups in reverse with the Four of Wands. Yeah, someone is detached from their emotions. I don't feel like they're emotionally invested into this connection. Or you might not even be emotionally invested into this connection. But I do see a reunion on the cards here. Or there's a coming together on the cards. But I don't feel like the emotions... Or the romantic side will develop here. Okay, let's get extra messages when it comes to this person. Look at this. Wisdom. This person may be older than you or it could just be an old flame or an old connection. We've got wounds. Okay, I feel like that's what draws you or pulls you together is some kind of inner child wounds. Like I said earlier, if this person doesn't feel like they're good enough with you, they feel on top of the world. They feel amazing. There's something that they get from this connection. Because why I say that? Because Six of Pentacles, this is receiving something from this connection. So they're getting something from this connection. But I feel like their wounds or their pain um, from the past is what's leading them still. It's still with them. Okay, one more card. We've got fear. They're scared. There is a, there is a, a fear 
of maybe getting sucked back into this dynamic or this connection but they're curious because look there's a light on so there's a curiosity coming through but at the same time they have a fear because with the wisdom card here they know that it's going to end or you might know it's going to end the same way it always does or always has so there are your messages Sagittarius hopefully this was insightful and helpful in some way and until next time take care bye guys